I'm Nicholas Palacy here in Washington at the March for Our Lives, interviewing participants about the issue of gun control. Let me ask you why you decided to come to the march, what specifically you want to see done, the course of action on gun control, gun violence. Like, I just want all of this to, like, to really make a difference because, like, we shouldn't have to fear to go to school every day that we're going to get shot and that, like, we're trying to learn and then it sucks that we always have to worry about an intruder trying to kill us every day. Like, that's not what my mother sent me to school for. She sent me to get an education and to come home, not to worry about lockdowns and... Oh, what if somebody comes into school and shoots her? Like, every day, it's like pressure on me. Like, it's like I'm living with a knife coming on my neck every day. And I want this to, like, end. And what would you like to see done here in, in Congress on Capitol Hill? Well, um, we hope to get some type of ban on the automatic weapons. I mean, the ultimate goal is to ban the automatic uh, weapons, the sale of them, because, like we were saying on this march we shouldn't have weapons of war in the streets we shouldn't have that available to civilians and um ultimately it's not about getting rid of guns it's just about having some um i would say um more background checks or um just regulation well, um, the main reason that I came to the march because I'm actually um, in school in Baltimore, but I came down here to just show my sisters that you have this First Amendment right to free speech. And when you see something's going wrong, it's very important to stand up and speak out for what you believe in. Well, I came for the same reason too. I just wanted to like come support. Yeah. Me too. Come support the fact that um, the lives need to be recognized and that gun violence shouldn't be happening. After this march, what do you want to come out of it? Oh, a lot. <laughs> um, I'd like to continue this. I think it's time that Congress starts listening to people, and especially to children, every 60 hours. You know, there's gun violence in school, and it's been going on for too long. And I'm worried that the NRA means more to certain representatives than our children do at this point and so we all came out together and I saw all kinds of people here and there was one veteran, a Vietnam veteran, that really got me today. He had a sweatshirt on and it said Vietnam veteran and he had a sign that said you don't march alone and you know they're not alone anymore. I ask you what you hope to be the course of action. After well, after this, well, yeah. it's obviously you know the, the kids gotta compel the other kids like them to register to vote, and then to actually show up on election day. That's important, and that's really, I mean, this this is great, and it's a moment and maybe a movement, but they need to follow it up with voting. What would you say is the number one policy change that could have prevented Parkland, the, the actual shooting, from, from happening? Well, I mean, uh, you, you know, there's there's a couple things, but one thing is if a if a 19 year old couldn't buy an AR-15, that would have an impact on that event. There's been calls to arm and train more people in the schools to protect the students, whether it's administrators or teachers. What do you think of that idea? Um. Well. I think we should leave that to our law enforcement. I know that a lot of school districts have their own police departments and they do a great job. Um, I, I, I don't think, I personally don't think that um, it would be a good idea to arm teachers just because we should focus on educating the children. I do not agree with that only because teachers are not there to be the person that's supposed to be like, oh, if something that happens, I'm going to just take out my arm and I'm just going to help. Yes, they should help. They should. They're technically a protector too, but not in the sense. That's what we have security for. Why should a teacher have a military weapon? Just like, it's not good. It's That's why we have security for a reason. And we have, well, my school has metal detectors just for situations like these. Like, my teacher shouldn't have to have a firearm and the whole school knows about it like I don't I wouldn't even feel safe with the teacher myself yeah my school doesn't have metal detect detectors actually 
um, but we've been having a lot more lockdowns, like practice lockdowns a lot because of situations like these. Reporting in Washington, I'm Nicholas Ballacy.